look at all the bait back here, y'all. So many baits this morning. It's about time the bait showed up. Bait has been a struggle in our area for the past few weeks. Oh yeah, almost as. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, we got a couple there. And that looks like it'll be okay. All right, so here's Conti's bags of lures that he makes. And this is the batch he gave me. So what we're doing for this first one, we're putting a smoker head on. Got a little divot. We're running straight to a ballyhoo. We're fishing probably 100 pound mono on there. What was that one? That was the uh, the smoker with the mullet back there? This is it. Uh, that one out there, that is my little secret weapon. That's our little noise maker. It'll jump around, jump back in. It'll do this little motion like a flying fish or a ballyhoo or whatever. Yeah, once whatever size to jump out of the water. Start getting the trolling speed. What it does is got a little uh, hourglass head on. We'll show you a picture later, but it pulls an air bubble. It dives. When the air bubble breaks, it drops a little smoke trail as it's doing it, and then it uh, comes back up, takes another jump. So it kind of mimics a flying fish. And this little guy is gonna just leave a smoke trail behind him of bubbles as we're pulling them through. We're gonna go ahead and put two of them up on the kingfish rod holders, and the other two right here. Have a four line spread today. All right, so we're still trolling back to the reef. We just went across the, the mark that we thought we got the bite out. We didn't do nothing. But we're in the same general area. It's looking good, but it's still awfully bumpy. Oh, hold on. All right. I was literally just called my buddy. Oh, it's a nice dolphin, too. Finally hooked up on the Matula lures. I did. I was around with it. I was bouncing. Family show, Conti. Sorry. Ooh, Finally. Bit extra drag here. All right, look for more on him. If there are, get ready with my uh, cut bait ready. Actually, just throw some cut bait out there in the water. But we don't have it. Oh. Okay, get ready All right, dude, you ready with that gap? Uh, oh, come on, my fish is right here. Is that good or no? I'll find out. I saw the boat, you don't like that shit. Dude. Yeah. What are you doing? You ready? Yeah. Oh god, it wasn't. <clears throat> what was she hit? Exactly the same color. Smoker head. Nice I gap shot. Nice gap shot too, right in the stomach. Good deal. All right, finally. That took a while. 11.21, first fish of the morning. I can say morning, because it's still morning. <laughs> nice little dolphin, got some, put some blood on the boat, finally. There were no other dolphin with him, though. Fortunately, it's just the one. Oh, God. Camera's nowhere near me, so sorry. Hopefully, we got some good footage. I was trying to do too many things at once. I was trying to cut some bait, I'll get the gaff ready. Conti's yelling at me, because he's crazy. <laughs> Doesn't rest takes time. We finally did it. All right. Woo! We can do a high five. Now we can take a sailfish. He's been telling me we can't catch a sailfish because we got to get some meat on the boat. We've got meat on the boat, Conti. I see that. You see that? I do see that. But we were, as we were letting the kite out, the short, well, first of all, that went in the water. Thank God that wasn't on camera. <laughs> But as we're letting the baits out, we got the, the lime all the way out, the far bait, pink bait, which is the close one, and then the dark one, which is the closest one. That's the middle one, I'm sorry. Far, middle, close. Letting them out twice now, the green's gotten hit on, but he couldn't. we couldn't get him to stick. But we're already liking our spot here, I think, right? Yep. We're hopeful for a sailfish, another dolphin. It's apparent there's fish here, so now we just need to maintain homeostasis. Hopefully we can get one of these fish to stick for you. Nothing since we let the kites out, but we are seeing some fish activity right there. We need to be back there though. Not here, there. Go ahead and throw the green one in. All right. Hold on, let me get you uh Dolphin, dolphin, dolphin behind the boat. Dolphin behind the boat. All right. Behind the boat. <laughs> oh, look. oh, he's on my face, on my face. We got him, we got him.
Alright, we got the dolphin on the other one. Alright, here, ready? I'm gonna gap this and hand it right to you. Alright, right, watch out. Alright, we got a dolphin on this. One. There you go! Holy crap, mayhem! Tiny spot drill! Absolute mayhem! Oh, you got the baby. This one's keeping still. Alright, you know what? While we're doing that, before you bring him all the way in. Oh, just him off. Hey, get a bait, get a lot of bait, get a lot of bait up there. Alright, that's complete mayhem. Sorry you guys, that, that was hard to get on camera, but it's a bloody mess. We got another dolphin. Nice little bull. Nice little bull. Kingfish is just thrown up in the box. Both kite baits went down rather quickly. My knot came undone on that one. That's why you always try to get knots. Boat is a bloody mess. I don't know how much of that is footage we can actually use. All because Conti broke out a sandwich. It's all about the sandwich. You don't even know where it went. It's over here. I can give you all a quick little rundown of what just happened because I'm a little confused as well. We let the kite out. We got a king right away. Now, bringing the king in, the dolphin came I up and hit the live bait. No, no, yes. He grabbed a sandwich. The king hit. The dolphin came up, free swam, grabbed... Right his live bait right at the back of the boat right there in the midst of all that the the pink flow somehow got caught up with the short bait the uh then another dolphin came up ate the short bait the knot came on that was wrapped around the other dolphin complete mayhem <laughs> the knot ended up coming undone i tied that knot like three months ago i should have tied it better living you learn and now we're down to one live bait and fishing just pretty much got started, but look at this box, y'all. Two dolphin and a nice king. Not bad. I hope we can use some of that footage because if not, it's, I'm sorry, <laughs> you missed out. Of course, as soon as the fishing's turn on, we're running out of bait. It's still fun. That's not cool. Two lures. I don't know what to tell you, Bob. Well, y'all just missed yet another fiasco on board the boat today. Yeah, the line broke. But we managed to get the kite. It landed in the water, started sinking, but the green, the braid was still floating. I was able to grab it and kept minimal tension on it. Almost got some some of the lines caught up in the prop. That's stuff you're not supposed to tell people when you have a fishing show. All that. You gotta tell the people. So they feel apart. Y'all can feel the pain. I'm still shaking. We're heading in. Oh my goodness. That was a bumpy, bumpy ride in. But let's see what we got. So Bumpy knocked this down. Nice little box for the day. All right, we just met Guy over there, works for Cito, nice guy. And look at Conti holding up the dolphin we caught today. That successful day, huh? Look at that. Push the king in there. But two lures, what you know about that, huh? saying that's gonna wrap up today's video if y'all like that video hit the like button and the subscribe button we'll see you next time